Today was one bombshell revelation after the other with all this, with the speaker initially defending his chief of staff and deflecting until finally Catherine resigned this evening. Let's go one on one with Tennessee State Senator Ramesh Akbari. Senator, uh, quite a day at the Capitol. Are you satisfied with Catherine's resignation? Is that enough? I mean, the, the speaker was included in some of those texts and has not really come clean on that. Uh, and the Tennessee Black Caucus today called on the TBI to investigate those allegations. Catherine uh, falsified evidence in order to incarcerate uh, a civil rights activist. Does that TBI investigation still need to happen in your mind? Richard, today was a crazy day. Um, I think that Catherine resigning was important. It was necessary, and I'm happy that he went ahead and did it. As for Speaker Cassida, we'll see what happens. Certainly, there's more information, I'm sure, that will continue to come out. And yes, I think the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation should continue and move forward with an investigation. We're talking about potential tampering of emails. We're talking about text messages that involve race and sex and harassment. So it certainly is important that we have an impartial uh, uh, investigation that might not appear biased in any way. Now, I mean, you expect Democrats and Republicans are going to disagree. You could argue they're supposed to. That's the way the system was set up. But in the six years you've held state office, has it gone too far in your mind? Because this session uh, felt especially toxic from where I sit. You know, I agree. I think that uh, sometimes things really did get out of hand. Uh, you were dealing with the scandal around Representative Byrd. You were dealing with a new uh, majority leader, dealing with a new speaker, and dealing with a new governor. And I think that a lot of times there was some push and pull that uh, was not necessarily friendly. I will say that there have been Democrats appointed to chairman positions, which is a little different from the past. But you've seen some Democrats' bills just being killed and, and not being able to ha move forward in any way, uh, looking at some representatives that couldn't even push through any legislation at all. So I do think that it has been, you know, a little, a little different, a little more toxic. However, if you look at the budget process, um, it was unanimous. So I do think that some parts of it actually really did work well, but other parts could, were really negative. Right, that's good to hear. Real quick, I got to ask you about school vouchers. You've talked about how all these amendments were rushed through at the last minute. I'm wondering if you think that this program might end up being a dud. I mean, there are no private schools in these neighborhoods where there are failing schools now. There's no transportation for these kids to get to a private school elsewhere. What do you think? I think that, yeah, I, I do think it's going to be the ultimate experiment in Memphis and in Davidson County. There are not these elite schools in, in these neighborhoods. And one, $7,300 is not going to go very far when we're talking about a $22,000 tuition. And other states that have adopted vouchers have not been successful. If we really want our kids and the lowest performing schools to move forward, we need to invest in those schools and those children in those neighborhoods. We really appreciate you coming in tonight. Thank you, Senator, for being here. My pleasure. Katina. New